The sound of an icy world rapidly changing. Melting glaciers just a few hundred miles from the North Pole. And the animals that inhabit this Arctic no man's land are in jeopardy. As traditional food sources disappear, they come looking in town. We have at the current moment polar bears in the vicinity of the settlement that we have to try to channel away to avoid confrontation with humans. This is the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard, high above the Arctic Circle, where an afternoon hike now requires a rifle for safety. Is climate change happening here? Absolutely. We see it every day. Stephen Hudson, an American atmospheric scientist, says temperatures here are warming faster than anywhere on Earth. Melting permafrost cracks the foundations of buildings. And the vital global seed vault, where seed samples from around the world are safely housed to preserve them for eternity. It's also in need of repair. Even a local cemetery has to be moved. What is causing it? Our emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So we are causing it? Yeah, we're causing it. Climate change also causes cracks in the balance of power. The Arctic has become a magnet for nations competing for rich resources because climate change has kept a once frozen sea open longer to navigation. Captain Lars Larsen and the crew of his Norwegian Navy frigate see increased Russian activity in the Arctic Ocean. I believe they have to show some muscles. I want to, to show them what they are capable of. The Norwegians don't want or anticipate any hostility with Russia in this new Arctic. They're prepared. This is footage of a portable Russian nuclear reactor being towed into the Arctic just last month. To date, the United States lacks the military capability of maneuvering here. If we don't get into that competitive space, we're destined to have a conflict there in the future. 20-year-old crew member Helena Lundin is too young to remember the Cold War. Her focus is on saving her beloved North. I think especially my generation, because we're like growing up with the problem. Up here, climate change is not up for debate. What has started here is going to happen to the rest of the world. Tonight, people in tiny, isolated Svalbard wonder if the rest of the world is listening. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Long Yerbjörn, Norway. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.